so in this episode we're talking about like constantly growing and and, uh, and self-development and just trying to level up um, constantly and the big thing people always say is they, that they don't have time but it's so funny because we just hopped in the car and this was blaring the oh, MF CEO so project with Danny Fasella no, no, and it's what I was listening to on the way to work today uh, and you don't realize those little windows of time, like even if you don't have a, a big commute, a big long commute, like that five, 10 minute window on your way to work where you can just have knowledge coming in versus just like what, music, news, stuff like that. Just as much as everyone wants to talk about money as as this goal and success and asset, if you really start grasping that time is the most valuable asset that you have, that the it most. that it means that money is nothing in comparison. At the at the very end, when you look back, the time is is what was most valuable. That I think it, it's a paradigm shift it is. Um, in your in your brain when you start looking at. The potential regret and the the efficiency of that time it's um it'll if you if you use it it can be the biggest catalyst for change and and growth um probably of anything that we've ever talked about in the podcast. so much of this is just auditing the things that you're letting into your life and for me the main part of that is fleeing from negativity like fleeing yeah. from it uh, my wife makes fun of me a lot of times because I don't watch the news, yep. <laughs> like ever, like ever, ever. Um, there'll be like gigantic like world events going on, and I'm like, no clue. Like I, I, I joke around and tell people about that um, the eclipse that happened, you know, a few months back, that I didn't realize it until like that morning that it was happening that afternoon. <laughs> and, and but for me, it's it's that it's to that extreme. I hardly even watch TV, quite frankly, but definitely not the news because it's all negative. Um, yep. When I'm in my car, I'm listening to podcasts or I'm listening uh, to to audio books or I'm maybe watching a youtube video which i don't endorse doing it's very not safe so don't do that kids um or adults but i'm constantly constantly auditing the things that i'm letting in um you can you can constantly be learning and so i that's kind of my mode of operation is just constant 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 education um, always listening to something watching something uh, maybe that's my ADD and I have to keep my brain occupied uh, but what I can tell you is when I went from that period of time from being broke to a certain level of success and then another level of success and another level of success that there was an insane amount of personal development and personal growth that transpired over that period of time um, there was a period of time where nothing like all I listened to uh, or watched was like Gary Vaynerchuk and the Andy Frisellas of the world and the, the old school stuff um, like Brian Tracy and Zig Ziglar and I still know little Tony Robbins and um, people that you know younger people don't even know about like Harvey McKay and, and people like Napoleon Hill and, and stuff like that it's just constantly trying to feed your brain uh, with positive growing stretching information and uh, it's incredible what, what that compounding effect will turn into over time.